Hi there. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to draw, mark up, and measure a PDF plan with Drawboard PDF Pro. Over the lockdown period, I've been installing a new kitchen. Seemed like a fun idea at the time. So here's how I've been using my Surface Pro to help. Now we've previously shared a number of videos showing PDF editing and markup tools that you can use on your Surface devices. For example, we shared how to mark up a PDF with Adobe Reader, Bluebeam Review, Microsoft Edge, and Zodo. But one of my favorite tools to use for PDFs on my Surface is Drawboard PDF. Now I love Drawboard because it works really well on Surface. It has great pen tools with smooth, fast, and fluid ink interface. The eraser on the back of my Surface Pen works like it should. And Drawboard treats pen and touch differently, so I can draw with my pen, and my finger pans and zooms the page. Oh, and by the way, Drawboard PDF is now free in the Microsoft Store. But for today's demo, you're going to need to subscribe to the Pro version of Drawboard. It's a yearly subscription, and it's well worth it if you're doing any kind of construction work, or if you're just looking for some handy PDF editing and page management tools. Now with my kitchen, I had a good set of plans to work with, but there's always a measurement that you wanna check that might not be on the plan. So in Drawboard PDF Pro, I can use measurement tools. Now, measuring from a PDF is not unique to Drawboard Pro. You can also do that in Adobe Acrobat, not the reader, but the full Pro version, and also Bluebeam Review. And that's very handy because PDFs have long been the standard in construction and engineering for sharing plan files. But I use Drawboard for my kitchen because it was much lighter, it's a simpler app, and it's the best experience on Surface. So here's how I take a measurement. Open the advanced tool set from the tool wheel. You'll see a tab at the top called measure. I'll need to calibrate the page to scale first. Use the calibrate tool and draw a line along the longest dimension you can find. Change your measurement units and in the second box, type in the known dimension of the line that you measured. If you know that the scale is the same on all pages, Tick the box that says apply to all pages. So now that I've set the scale of the page, I can start taking measurements. There's a length measurement tool, there's a poly length measurement tool, and some handy area tools to use. And because you can zoom in as you measure, you can get things fairly precise. So working on site with your Surface Pro, Drawboard Pro, and a pen is just like working on a real plan, only better. Having access to the right information at the right time can save you a lot of time and money on construction. Tell us if you're using your Surface Pro to work with plans in the comments below. And if you found this tip helpful, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.